Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 70, Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. This was such a charming book. Though some modern or younger readers might find it a bit dull in places, I loved it. It did a remarkable job of chronicling the life of a horse in first person, or er, um, first horse. As its subtitle suggests, it is like reading the autobiography of a horse. If that doesn't sound like an enjoyable read, just give one chapter a chance, and I think you'll find that you'll soon be dissuaded of putting this book down. It breathes so much life and personality into the horses in the story. It was a real treat to read. I learned a lot about horses, and I loved spending time with the main character, Black Beauty. You can feel the love of animals, and especially horses, the author Anna Sewell had from her writing. If I could, I would climb into the pages of this book, apple in hand, and give Black Beauty a treat for bringing me along with him on many adventures. I loved how personal the narrative was. Black Beauty and other horses he speaks with share of their dealings with men that either have a mean or kind demeanor. It was heartwarming to see the change brought about in a horse from their treatment changed from cruel to kind. Without spoilers, I'll just also say that when certain characters have to part ways, it was heartbreaking. This is something that happens more than once, so I'm not giving any of the story away in sharing this. That's how real the horses were to me as characters while I read this book. I also really appreciated the morality shared in this book. It has shown how kindness, even when it requires a more difficult path, is the way that leads to men being persons others desire to be like. It also shares a lesson that when you see something terrible being done, you should do what you can to stop it and not simply go on your way. This book has some great lessons for children, actually everyone, to read. I was so pleased with the ending that I cried like a little baby reading the last chapter. Man, this was a good book. I loved it. I was expecting it to be dull and boring, but it was so heartwarming and lovely. Black Beauty is now a dear friend. (laughs) What a fantastic read. Awesome. This is uh, one of the last books I read in 2017, and I'll get into a little later uh, why I read it, but I have some great news for you, the listener of this podcast. You can get a free audiobook. Thanks to Audible sponsoring this podcast, you can go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and get a free audiobook. Now, you can get any audiobook of your choice, and they've got them all. But this week I'm recommending Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Now there are um, several different versions with different narrators on Audible. So I would like to recommend to you the one narrated by Simon Vance. If you've listened to a lot of audiobooks, you'll probably know who Simon Vance is. But I would probably say that he is best described as one of the smoothest, most articulate, and pleasant British male narrators you can come across. I've listened to him narrate all kinds of things from A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens to Dune by Frank Herbert. Classical literature, sci-fi and fantasy, he does it well, and so it would be a real treat to your ears to hear this beautiful story narrated by a top pro, Simon Vance. Just go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews and you can get a free copy of Black Beauty, or any other audiobook of your choice, and a free 30-day trial of their awesome membership. I am an Audible member myself, 
and I'm pretty excited about the book that I just got with my Audible credit this month. The Cold Dish, the first in the Walt Longmire mystery series. I came across this by watching a TV show on Netflix called Longmire, and it's a TV show made after this book series. Then I saw during the opening credits that it's based on the Walt Longmire mysteries, so I thought to myself, these TV episodes are awesome stories, I love the characters, I'm gonna have to check out those books. Then I had a buddy over for a game night and he was telling me that they're some of his favorite books of all time, and there are many books in the series, so I'm excited about my Audible credit that I spent on The Cold Dish by Craig Johnson, the first of the Walt Longmire series. So. I'm not just someone who sits here and tells you that Audible is awesome because they sponsor me. I've been an Audible member for many years, and I have two hours of commuting every day, so that commute is actually a great part of my day because I get to listen to fantastic audiobooks thanks to Audible. For instance, the first Walt Longmire Mysteries book is 13 hours long, so it's a pretty expensive audiobook at 38 bucks. I spend 15 bucks a month and get one credit, and I use it to buy any book of my choice. I recently bought an epic fantasy book by Brandon Sanderson, and that is like 55 hours long or something like that. I still got it for $15 with my one credit. So anyways guys, go to Audible. You can get a free trial membership and a free audiobook at audibletrial.com slash Reviews. And this week I'm recommending Black Beauty by Anna Sewell, narrated by Simon Vance. Alright, cool. Well, like I said, I was wrapping up my year of reading last year in 2017, and I came across a recommendation for Black Beauty in an author interview that I was posting on my blog. I read and reviewed an awesome children's book called The Cheese Pirates, Cheddar Island by Christina Lewis, a fantastic book for kids and adults. And anyway, so uh, I had her answer a bunch of interview questions as an author for my blog at dandantheartman.com, and she was just saying that uh, reading Black Beauty as a child made her a voracious reader, made her kind of a love of writing, moved her to tears and we just kind of went on and on about how wonderful Black Beauty was. And um, she discovered a short biography of the author Anna Sewell in the back of the book, probably. And uh, that's the day that she realized that people wrote stories. You know, they didn't just come out of the sky like magic bound paperbacks for us to enjoy. Just other people wrote books. So from then on, she wanted to become an author. And anyways, I thought, wow, that I've never read that classic, Black Beauty, but I think I actually own a copy, and I did. I uh, bought it at a thrift store probably 15 years ago, (laughs) Uh, but I actually ended up listening to it because that's how I get most of my reading done, and man, I was just so surprised. I look forward to reading classics because the writing is always amazing in there and beautiful. The prose is just like poetry. But to be honest, most classics are fairly boring. The plot is not even there, it's just kind of an internal struggle for the character and uh, beautiful stuff. There's a reason that they're classics, but man, Black Beauty? I was not bored at all, ever. The whole time I was just super enthralled hearing this um, really personal, touching, beautiful story of this horse named Black Beauty from their birth until near the end of their life. All the other horses and men that they meet, and oh man, besides that, Anna Sewell uh, has beautiful writing, but man, just just the character of that horse (laughs) and other horses really come alive in this book. You feel like they're your best friends even though they're horses. And it was just really a beautiful thing. So I would highly recommend Black Beauty for anyone who is a horse lover or any young ladies to read to your daughters. Um, But also, honestly, I'm a 35-year-old dude and I loved it. And I tend to more read uh, action, adventure, sci-fi, and fantasy novels. So, 
a high recommendation for Black Beauty, a wonderful classic for all ages. Check it out. I think you'll love it. Lastly, I have some really exciting news. Uh, if you guys don't know this, uh, besides loving books and being a huge reader and book reviewer, I am actually an author myself. I've published about 20 short stories. I have a really short novelette that's about 10,000 words called Destruction Road. And then I also have a novella, a short novel. It's a little over 30,000 words called Sword and Urn, and that's a fantasy coming of age story. But you guys, right now, my debut novel, it's the fourth novel I've written, but it's the first one that I think is worth publishing. Haunted House Flipper is in the hands of beta readers. Beta readers just read your book and give you feedback like, well, this scene didn't really make sense, or this chapter was kind of boring. Stuff like that that I can take a look at before I go ahead and publish it. Actually, before I go ahead and hand it off to an editor and then publish it. But Haunted House Flipper is about a man who is a realtor who stumbles upon some magical items, including a sword, that he discovers he can use to rid houses of evil spirits. He thinks that they're ghosts. Turns out they're demons, and demons have swords because they're fallen angels, and angels have swords. So he gets the idea to become a haunted house flipper, buying haunted houses that no one else wants for a super cheap price, ridding the evil spirits from the premises, renovating the property, and then selling it for a huge profit. But the demons don't always, well, ever want to leave. So, it's also a story about a selfish, lonely man finding the true value of friendship and helping and serving others. I'm really proud of it. It's a super fun, hopefully funny, and a little creepy and exciting novel, Haunted House Flipper by Dan Absalonson. Check it out for pre-order probably by the time you hear this episode. Or if you're listening to this in the future, it's already available for sale as a paperback, ebook, and maybe even an audiobook, which I will narrate. So, really exciting news. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that you're having a great year of reading in this January of 2017. And I'll talk to you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin MacLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.